Dennison, sorry, Dennison. Thanks, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, next month is the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Beersheba, where on 31 October 1917, the Australian 4th Light Horse Brigade conducted a mounted charge that helped capture Beersheba from the Ottoman defenders. Deputy Speaker, vital to the Palest uh, Palestine campaigns of the British Empire were the local Arab troops. But their rebellion against the Ottomans was encouraged by the British and French, who promised the Arabs their right of self-determination should Britain and its allies win the war. However, the Arabs were betrayed through the Sykes-Picot Agreement, because the only place the Arabs were given free of foreign rulers was the Arabian Desert. Moreover, the Palestinians did not achieve their independence then, and they are still waiting 100 years later. Deputy Speaker, when the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition travel to Beersheba next month, I hope they recognise the sacrifice of the Arabs during this campaign and honour their Palestinian descendants. Moreover, as we approach these commemorations, the PM and Opposition Leader, along with everyone else, should be careful to avoid attributing misleading historical consequences to this battle. Deputy Speaker, remember we shared the dangers, the losses and the successes of the Palestinian campaign with the Arabs. The best way to commemorate this battle and the part the Australians played is to now recognise Palestine and work decisively towards their independence, even if it is 100 Order. years too Order. late. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.